Question number one. How often is a gang inspected by a junior engineer or senior section engineer P-way, excluding the in-charge or sectional officer? A. Once a day. B. Once a month. C. Once a week. D. Once a year. And the right answer is option C. Once a week. Question number two. During the passage of the first and last trains in working hours, how far apart should the gang mate and the trackman stand on the cess according to railway guidelines? A. Half a rail length apart. B. One rail length apart. C. Two rail lengths apart. D. Three rail lengths apart. And the right answer is option B. One rail length apart. Question number three. Who is mainly responsible for the safe custody of tools used in gangs as per IRPWM? A. Trackman B. Keyman C. Mate D. Senior Most Trackman And the right answer is option C. Mate Question number 4 When advised of a potential danger of buckle on the track, how far should the gang mate inspect the track condition on either side of the suspected zone according to railway protocols? A. 50 meters B. 75 meters C. 100 meters D. 125 meters And the right answer is option C. 100 meters Question number 5 under the classification system, which group does a section of railway belong to if it has the potential for speeds up to 130 km per hour? A. Group A B. Group B C. Group C D. Group D And the right answer is option B. Group B Question number 6 What is the cross-sectional area of a 60 kg 60 UIC rail? A. 60.34 square centimeters B 76.70 square centimeters C 76.86 square centimeters D 60.21 square centimeters And the right answer is option C 76.86 square centimeters Question number 7 At what distance apart are brand marks rolled in relief on one side of the web of each rail A 2 meters B. 3 meters C. 4 meters D. 5 meters And the right answer is option C. 4 meters Question number 8 What is the standard length of rails as per IRST 12 from followings? A. 26 meter B. 130 meter C. 260 meter D. None of the above and the right answer is option A, 26 meter. Because as per IRST 1213 meter and 26 are the standard length of rail. Question number 9. Which of the following is recommended section of rail for renewal of rails in loop lines? A, 60 kg per meter, sh. B, 52 kg per meter, sh. C, only A. D, both A and B. And the right answer is option D, both A and B as 60 kg per meter, sh, and 52 kg per meter, sh, are used for renewal in loop lines. Question number 10. Which RDSO specification number relates to the manufacturing of PSC sleepers for turnout? A. IRS T12 B. IRS T39 C. IRS T1 D. IRS T45. And the right answer is option D, IRS, T45. Question number 11. If the center-to-center -center distance between two consecutive sleepers on a railway track is 65 cm, what is the sleeper density of the track? A. 1540 sleepers per kilometer. B. 1660 sleepers per kilometer. C. 1340 sleepers per kilometer. D. 1310 sleepers per kilometer. And the right answer is option A, 1540 sleepers per kilometer. Question number 12. What is the minimum width required for the cess on railway track on curves? A, 80 centimeters. B, 85 centimeters. C, 90 centimeters. 
D. 95 cm. And the right answer is option C. 90 cm. Question number 13. What is the minimum depth of ballast cushion required in a private siding for a permissible speed of up to 50 km per hour? A. 250 cm. B. 300 cm. C. 350 cm. D. 150 cm. And the right answer is option B. 300 cm. Question number 14. How much quantity of ballast per meter is required for a single line broad gauge BG track in straight sections when ballast cushion is kept 300 mm? A. 2.03 cubic meters. B. 2.30 cubic meters. C. 2.58 cubic meters. D. 2.68 cubic meters. And the right answer is option B. 2.30 cubic meters. Question number 15. What is the side slope of the ballast profile in LWRBG track? A. 1 is to 1, horizontal is to vertical. B. 1.5 is to 1, horizontal is to vertical. C. 2 is to 1, horizontal is to vertical. D. 1 is to 1.5, horizontal is to vertical. And the right answer is option B. 1.5, 1, horizontal is to vertical. Question number 16. What is the recommended interval for collecting soil samples for investigation? A. 1 to 1.5 meters. B. 1.5 to 3 meters. C. 3 to 4 meters. D. 4 to 5 meters. And the right answer is option B. 1.5 to 3 meters. Question number 17. In the case of small bridge openings less than what distance, rail joints should be avoided? A. 5.5 meter. B. 6.1 meter. C. 6.5 meter. D. 7.0 meter. And the right answer is option B. 6.1 meter. Question number 18. What is the maximum allowable difference in height between the top table of the guardrail and the running rail? A. 10 millimeters. B. 15 millimeters. C. 20 mm D 25 mm and the right answer is option D 25 mm question number 19 what is the drawing number for the ordinary psc sleeper capable of holding 52 kg rail a rt2495 b rt8746 c rt 8527 d rt2459 and the right answer is option A, RT2495. Question number 20. Which method is used for short preheating in at weld in railway? A. Air petrol fuel mixture. B. Oxy LPG. C. Compressed air petrol fuel mixture. D. All of the above. And the right answer is option D. All of the above.